All right, so here we have C has to do with the path of a volleyball serve can be modeled by the quadratic equation. H is equal to negative 0 0.04 D squared plus 0 0.8 D plus 1.5, where H is the height in meters and D is the horizontal distance, the player, from the player in meters. So that means we're looking at something like this, where it starts off above the y-intercept is 1.5 and it's going to go up like this and down. So here's the ball. This is zero, this is height, and this is distance in meters. So you can imagine it looking something like this. This is the part of parabola. The dotted lines are really the parts that, you know, mathematically are correct, but in terms of the physics is not. And the vertex is here. We know it's going to be opening down because of the negative. So it says, at what, height, at what height was the ball hit for the serve? So I'm going to write down the formula here, negative 0 0.04 d squared, 0 0.8 d plus 1.5. So for A, we're looking at the y-intercept, because they asked, at what height was the ball hit for the serve? So that's when you know, d equals zero. So that's right here, that's going to be here, and that's just going to be c. So this right here is in standard form. If we look at it, this is ax squared plus bx plus c. That is my y-intercept. So therefore, the ball is hit from an initial height of 1.5 meters. So that would be the answer to A, and that would be the reasoning behind it. So now I asked to determine the maximum height of the ball. So that means we're looking at the vertex. The vertex is the maximum height. So that's what we're going to be finding for part B. And to do that, we need to find the vertex. So the first thing I'm going to do is, again, separate. My first two terms. I'm going to look at here. I'm going to, I'm going to factor out at 0 0.04 with a negative, so that's just going to become d squared. This will become negative. You can always double check that on your calculator. So I'm taking 0.8 and I'm dividing by negative 0 0.04. And that's going to give me a negative 20. Close the brackets, plus 1.5. So, I'm going to take this middle term, so I forgot the D. Take this middle term. I need to add something to make it a perfect square. I need to add half of this, which is going to be negative 10, and it needs to be squared. So I'm also going to subtract the same thing, because I want that to be 0. I want to have really done nothing. I'm going to go ahead and finish completing the square. I'm going to take those first three terms. So that's going to be d minus 10 all squared. That's going to be minus 100 plus 1.5, which is going to be. I'm going to expand this so that will just be in front of that. And I'm going to multiply this. Negative times a negative will be a positive. 100 times that is going to be plus 4, plus 1.5. So h is going to be equal to negative 0 0.04 times d minus 10 all quantity squared plus 5.5. So when we look at this, that means our vertex will be at 10 
and 5.5 because here this is our x coordinate, this is our y coordinate. So this tells me at a distance of 10 meters, the height, the height of the ball will be 5.5 meters above the ground. So the question asked, determine the maximum height at what horizontal distance. So therefore, I would say, therefore, the ball reaches maximum height, 5.5 meters. And the ball travels 10 meters from the server. And then it says, how far from the player, how far, how far from the player did the ball hit the ground? Well, hitting the ground, that doesn't have to do with the vertex. That has to do with the ground. So let's go look at our sketch. If I'm looking at my sketch, where it hits the ground is going to be here. That is an x intercept. So that means I need the zeros. And that means I need to look at the factors or the factored form. And I'll need more paper. So and maybe I'll just fold this up like this. If I want to look at the factored form, I'm going to take this quadratic and I'm going to factor a negative 0 0.04 out of the whole thing. So I'm left with d squared. And I know that I, when I factored that before, that was a negative 20 d. And so when I take that 1.5 and I'm going to divide by negative 0 0.04, I get, that's not a nice number, that's negative 37.5. Check that, 1.5 divided by 0 0.04. It's not a nice number, so that means right there I will need a quadratic. So there's really no sense in even having it in factored form, so let's go ahead and just say A is equal to negative 0 0.04, B is going to be 0 0.8, and C is going to be 1.5. And the quadratic looks like this. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So what we want to do is sub in all of these numbers. Plus or minus the square root. b squared is going to be 0 0.8 squared minus 4. A is negative 0 0.04 and C is 1.5 all over 2A, just negative 0 0.04. So what I'm going to do is write down some of my numbers, negative 0 0.8 plus or minus. I am going to do this on my calculator, 0.8 squared. Well, what I do is I look here, and this is actually going to be a positive number, so it's going to be 0.8 squared. I'm going to add, open a bracket, it's going to be 4 times 0 0.04 times 1.5. I'm going to close the bracket. So everything under the square bracket should be 0, point, sorry, square root, should be 0 0.88, and that's going to be 
negative 0 0.08. Multiply 2 times that. So what are my two options? My two options are, now, <clears throat> because I know that it's a distance, if I look at this and say, okay, if this is a negative and this is a negative, negative minus a negative is still going to be a negative value, and divided by a negative, that's going to give me a positive value. So that means that's probably the answer I'm looking for. Because if I do the other one, um, I'm thinking I'll get a negative value, and really a negative distance is behind, which isn't my answer. I don't want this answer. I want this one. So let's do that. Negative 0.8 minus the square root of 0.88 equals, and I'm going to divide by negative 0.08. I get 21.7. 21.72. And just to prove that this value should be negative, go ahead and check this. So negative 0.8, I'm going to add 0 0.88 and divide by negative 0 0.08. But all I have to really do is check to see what that numerator is. So if I take negative 0.8 and I add the square root of 0 0.88, which is going to be a really small number, and that's going to be a small number divided by a negative number, is still going to be a negative value. Well, that's not possible. So my answer is back here. Therefore, the ball will hit the ground. approximately 21.7 meters from the server. All right, so that is part C. Part C isn't a max min question, so you have to, that's why sketches are important, have some idea of what's going on in the question.